everyone i'm so glad you joined us today i have an exciting churro filled day for us today found on almost every street corner in barcelona this humble churro is the most commonly eaten spanish treat for the uninitiated a churro is a type of fried dough that's typically eaten for breakfast in spain it's a versatile dough and takes on any flavor that's combined with it that makes it a great candidate for pairing sweet and savory flavors deep fried to perfection the outside of the churro is crispy while the inside still remains soft as though that wasn't appetizing enough it's typically sprinkled with white sugar and paired with thick hot chocolate Other common varieties are thicker churros that are filled with sweet fillings like chocolate, custard and my favorite dulce de leche. If you travel to Barcelona, I hope you don't leave the city without trying one of these, especially after watching today's video. Having tried churros in over 20 places in Barcelona for research, I've chosen my top 5 favorite places and that's where I'm going to take you today. Sweet treats for breakfast? Yes, please. Let the churro adventure begin. Hello. Hello. Um, churros con chocolate y café con leche, por favor. Okay. Gracias. Yeah. So we're at Granja M Viader. and the owner just told me that the cacolat has been invented here it's a chocolate milkshake which i think every spanish kid knows and loves while i'm waiting for my churros i'm just looking at the whole place and realizing that there is almost 100 years worth of history over here with all the paintings on the wall it's pretty awesome okay Mm. These are so good, guys. They're hot and crunchy. And they have a little bit of salt in the dough, so that gives a beautiful contrast with the chocolate. So I'm just going to finish this plate of churros and then I'll take you to the next place. <laughs> Hey guys, so now we're at the Churreria Trebol, and it's time to try out their churros. I'm gonna try the chocolate sauce first. Mmm, I really like their chocolate. It's dark chocolate. It's not too sweet. It's perfect. hot freshly fried churros crispy on the outside soft on the inside and together they're just perfect i really like these churrerias like this actually produce most of the churros and supply it to other places like the granjas so that's what makes these guys extra special and they also have filled churros which you don't see in the other granjas or cafes This is my favorite one. Churro with dulce de leche. Ooh. If you guys know me by now, you know that dulce de leche is one of my favorite flavors. So let me try this. Oh. If you come to a churreria like this, Please, please don't leave without trying the dulce de leche churro. Mm. So while I was buying the churros, the kind lady here um, suggested I try the bunuelos. Uh, apparently, they are quite known for this. Ooh, so fluffy and soft. This is filled with sweet custard. It's incredibly soft and fluffy on the inside. Really good. Oh, thank you for the churros. I love them. 
Thank you so much. Can you tell me a little bit about your Chiraria? Yes, this is a Chiraria that has been here since uh, 1955 oh. and it's the family by Joan Balsi okay. that has had this Chiraria from all this time yeah. and this is the third generation of family that has wow. been working here, yes. Okay, so can you can you show us how you make the churros? The, the process is, is usually the same in Autoreria. You put like flour and salt and then you mix it mm -hmm. and then you put bo boiling water. Boiling water, yes. Okay. And then you just mix it and it makes this dog. This is a okay. hard dog. Okay. And then um, you put it in, the, in this machine, which is a churrera. Uh -huh. And then this is. This one is it, automatic, so it, it cuts it all itself. Thank you so much. I really like your churros. I'm going to be your frequent customer. <laughs> Thank you so much. Adios. Bye bye. Fresh churros on the way. Exciting. So I came to this place a few days ago and I quickly became a fan of the churros and it's become one of my favorite places to eat churros. And I realized that the owner is uh, a teacher at the culinary school that I'm going to be attending. So that's pretty cool. So, this for you. Thank you. Would you prefer vanilla sugar or cinnamon sugar? Oh, I love cinnamon sugar. Oh, okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay. It's awesome because I didn't have the option of cinnamon sugar in any of the other places that I've tried. Oh, the chocolate is really, really good. And again, let's see. Wow. Did you hear that crunch? Oh, wow. Okay. That's good, guys. Okay. I love it. Right? So good. Okay, perfect. But, but, ah, but shoe? It's shoe pastry. It's shoe pastry. Right, right, right. That's right. Mm. And then these are the regular ones. And we yeah. have it also with cream or with chocolate. Oh, those are cinnamon, young. Cinnamon cream. I mean, uh, cinnamon. Passion, passion fruit cream. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So when did you start this place? We started in uh, 2014. Okay. 14, sorry. And we we do uh, the main products are the churros, the regular churros and chocolate. So these are the best sellers, you'd say. Yeah. Okay. The the most important thing of these churros, uh, part of the process and, and the flour and, and all this, is the the oil. The oil. The oil. The oil. What oil do you use? We use extra virgin olive oil. So, could you show me how you make this? Yeah, come, come with me and I'll show you in the... Okay. But, uh, here we, we fry the churros. Okay. And in this machine we prepare the dough. This is a, a flour with a lot of starch. Warm the flour. Okay. Uh, until 50, 50, 50 degrees. And then we add the, the hot water. Boiling water. Okay. Normally, in the typical churrerias that are all, all around Catalonia and in Spain, there's a machine with a yeah the wheel. The wheel. Okay. And then you cut it with a with the scissors. We we bought this this machine that is the same, but it's automatic. Okay. We put the dough here. Okay. We mix another time. Mm. And then the, the, oh. the dough is not soft. It's good. We put it here. And there it goes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
but we're flying here at 190, 190, 195, only four. Oh, okay. Okay, that's all. Then the other, the other part that is really, really important is to do this. To drain all the oil. Okay. Okay. Can't get fresher than this. <laughs> Hear this crunch. Oof. Oof, hot. <laughs> it's really good. Thank you. Thank you for showing us this. Okay. Um, take away package. Oh, okay. You can <laughs> take the, the, the glass with the same hat. No, like, like this. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, thank you so You're much. Adieu. Bye -bye. Bye. ¿Quieres sentar? Sí, ¿Tienes un momento en tu vida para disfrutar? Sit down. <laughs> My English is very, very beautiful. <laughs> It is. <laughs> so wonderful. You are My so princess. Look. Oh, wow. A ver, a ver cómo dices. Wow, wow. Oh, wow. Chocolate. Español. A la taza. Ah. Espeso. La nata montada al momento y los churros, especialidad española. ¿Sí? Muy bueno. Ah. Eh. That looks great. My princess. This <laughs> melindros. 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 Ok. Esto España. Ok. Y esto en Cataluña. Ok. Con el chocolate. Ah, de pet. Sí. El extranjero, el chocolate no lo toma tan espeso. Mm. Y es en España que a la gente le gusta así. Pero el chocolate en el mundo es más líquido. Sí. Y aquí con la nata mm. ayuda. Mm. Ayuda a tomar sí. el chocolate. Sí. No, no te preocupes. La hora oficial es 5 por 10. Estamos aquí. The churros are great here, but what stands out is the chocolate. This place is known for its chocolate and it clearly shows. It's really, really good. But the biggest highlight about this place is that it's more than just churros. When you enter, You get such a nice, homely feel about this place. You have pictures on the wall that are of the family members, the grandparents of their grandkids, and the owner was extremely entertaining, funny, welcoming. He sat with me for a long time and spoke about the place, spoke about his family, about you know the food he makes here, cracked some jokes. So overall, I get such a nice vibe from a place like this, and this is what I look for when I enter a place. This is how it should make me feel, and I guess that's why I go exploring and you know try and find places like this and help them in whichever way, whichever way I can. I tried the chocolate on its own, and like I told you, it's really good. But the owner Pep, he told me to have it with a little bit of whipped cream like this, and then mix it a little bit, and then have it. I think that's the way you should have it. It's really, really good. Oof, I love it. Yes. Mira, a ver, a ver cómo te van. Sí. 
Mira, Rudyard Kipling. <risa> Gracias, Pe. Ay, qué amor. <risa> me, me escribo. Me has hecho sentir muy bienvenida. Ah, me encanta el lugar. Muchas gracias para todo. Y tú eres la princesa del día. <risa> gracias oh, a ti. Gracias. Uh, my, yes. my gafas. <risa> vale. Pues muchas gracias, ¿eh? Thank vale. You. Our next stop is Churreria Laitana. Let's get some churros. Hola. Hola. Un churros con chocolate, por favor. Por supuesto. ¿Un poco de azúcar? Sí. Sí. Ah, gracias. Que aproveche. Gracias. I'm going to try the chocolate first. Mmm. Oh, it's good chocolate. And now let's get some churro in it. Mmm. That's why it's on my top five list, guys. It's really good. Oof, just look at it. So good. Crunchy, soft, perfect balance with the chocolate mm. don't you want some come here when you come to Barcelona you must try porras it's also our speciality they're it called is, porras yes porras it's like churros but the taste is different okay. so you must try it oh thank you you're welcome They're really good. You like it? Yeah, thank yeah. you. What do you prefer? Ooh, I think my heart will always be with the churros. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit about uh, your yeah, place? Yeah, sure, yes. Uh, Churrilla La Gitana was open in 1987 okay. in the same store okay. right here in Barcelona. And it's a family business, obviously. And uh, our specialty are churros and porras and also the chocolate. Yeah. We make uh, churros and porras every day. We serve it fresh, okay. always fresh. Yeah. And also the chocolate is a recipe. It's a secret recipe. And we have been making the chocolate for many, many, many years. Oh, it's a secret recipe. Yes, mm. it's a secret recipe. Okay. Yeah. And I think it's very, very, very tasty. It is very good. It's not, not so sweet. Yeah. And it's perfect for churros and porras. I agree. It's yeah. really good. Can you show me how you fry sure. the churros? Sure, sure. Please, Thanks. come with me. So now he's making churros. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is porras. Okay. Ah. Oh, so he makes it into like a round shape. Yeah, sure. Wow. It's a coordination between one arm and the other one. Wow. Okay, so he's pushing the porras. Uh, on the machine. on the machine, yes, and he's cooking right now. Is uh, uh, the right temperature, so he uh, the the porras is taking just the um, the the perfect quantity of oil. Mm. Yes. So this is the only place that offered me these things called porras. I haven't seen them in the other places, so um, I really like these. They're extremely light and soft. You should try these. So I'm gonna enjoy my churros, guys. I'm gonna say goodbye. That's it for today. Thank you for spending the day with me. I truly appreciate all the love and support. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on all my future recipes and adventures. And in the comment section below, leave me suggestions on what you'd like to see next. Have a wonderful day. See you next week.